This can be a problem that a lot of growers uh, may not want to admit to. It's called the moron, moron, or moron uh, mistake here. For the approach to gardening and growing crops, we are simply just over adding or adding just more nutrients, thinking this, that's going to fix your problem. So the problem with over fertilizing is more is not always better. Uh, it's a, it can be a waste of money, can potentially damage your plants, and can also increase the odds for environmental contamination. All bad things here. So the goal is to be in the sufficiency range. So we kind of see a nutrient here, increasing concentration of nutrient, increasing plant growth. And you see here, we're getting the maximum plant growth. This is called the sufficiency or optimum range. At this level, uh, the nutrients at the plant has enough to function and develop properly, but not at toxic levels. So this sufficiency range is the should be the target of growers. Now we get into something called luxury consumption, and this is when plants take up more of a nutrient than is needed. So we see we're within our sufficiency range here. However, at the very top here, this is where the plant's just taking in more nutrients than it needs. And especially if you're looking at leafy greens, uh, this can be an issue here with uh, excess uh, nitrogen uh, being taken up by the plant because of the grower overfeeding that particular nutrient. We have something called a toxic level, and this is when the nutrients can actually harm the plants. So we're getting on that sufficient C range, and we're getting to that toxicity range. And what happens here is that plant growth will actually decrease. So over adding certain nutrients will actually cause a decrease in plant growth. Now that decrease can be it's the same as here, where we're looking at deficiency symptoms. However, to correct a deficiency, we'd simply add nutrients to bring it up to, to the sufficiency range. When we're in a toxic situation, it can be very hard to remove one particular nutrient in adequate amounts to get back to the sufficiency range. A lot of times these toxicity ranges is grower induced, so we want to be mindful of what we're adding so that we don't induce this problem in our own grow. Something called a critical level, and this is the point in which there's no longer a fertilizer response. What this means is that at very low levels here, our maximum yield, we're adding fertilizer, getting better yield, getting better yield, getting better yield. Until we reach this critical level, we reach that theoretical 100% yield, adding any more fertilizer, you're a lot less likely, or in this case, not going to get any increase in yield. So at this point on, beyond this critical level, you're increasing your input costs for no return. And this can be a major issue with uh, wasting money, wasting time, wasting resources, and potentially contaminating the environment. So we want to think about sustainability and being as close to that critical level as possible uh, will help ensure not hurting yields with also potentially reducing impacts on the environment. Now what does this look like in a kind of a corn comparison here. So a lot of research done on corn. When we have low levels, we see this corn doesn't look as healthy. It's more spindly. It's kind of lighter green. In the excess, uh, dark green, kind of the whole way down to the base here. The optimum conditions, yes, a couple of lower leaves are turning brown, and that's fine. Corn here, we're looking at filling in that ear. And that last bit of uh, nutrients there being pulled out of the bottom portion of the stalk to fill the ear. This would be the optimal amount of nutrients. This would be the least amount of waste and the best yield for the least amount of input. So it's important to keep this in mind to be able not to over fertilize or just add more and think that's gonna solve your problems because it could just simply create more.